standard. All right. So, um, they're hitting the big leagues, right? Guys over at iBallistic, um, Joe, who I shall not call Joseph, right, has been featured in Game Informer, which I have cut off and left the ear. Uh, but this is huge, dude. Like, you guys should be really, um, really stoked, right? This is by an article by Wesley LeBlanc. Uh, Studio creates petition to remake original Mortal Kombat trilogy. Reportedly received Ed Boon's blessing back in 2016. Yeah, Ed Boon ain't the problem. Not in this instance, anyway. It's Warner Brothers, right? Because apparently some of these studios... I understand, like, gaming studios, man. They literally got money on the table. And they're just going to pee on it. Right? Remakes and remasters continue to become more common with each passing year. And as Mortal Kombat has reached 11 uh, mainline entries, some fans are looking back at the series' history, especially as its 30th anniversary nears. I'm telling you, I said this in my other video, right? Obviously, they're going to do like uh, essentially an MK12, and I'm 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 going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to believe the leaks. 98% are true. That it's going to be a trilogy-style game called Trinity, perhaps all the characters what they were claiming from MK9 through. So I wouldn't be surprised, right? I wouldn't be surprised. But remaster. Deadly Alliance, Deception, Armageddon, throwing Shaolin Monks, and fucking you will make people blissfully happy. Make it so you can play online. Right? Easy peasy. You will just make a fortune. Absolute fortune. And then you add something like this on top of it. Right? It was up to iBallistic, a game development studio with multiple titles in the works. That 30th anniversary would include a remake of the original MK trilogy. In fact, the studio has created a Mortal Kombat Trilogy remake petition, partition, 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 on change.org to get this theoretical ball rolling as first reported by Nintendo Life. Uh, MK's 30th anniversary is next year, well it's this year now. Uh, we'd like to honour this amazing franchise by remaking the original MK Trilogy on PC and consoles. The petition reads, MK Trilogy is a classic game combining all the characters from MK1, 2, 3 and Ultimate. It also includes nearly all the stages from those games. So as as I, I have my uh, down back to block cast with Joe, absolutely, you've got to have all the stages. All the stages from MK1, 2, 3, and Ultimate. You have to. They were missing a couple of stages uh, in Trilogy's original release, um, which has been rectified, ironically enough, through Mugen Games. Uh, any studio could create a petition asking to remake a beloved game like this, but what makes this specific one interesting is that iBallistic says it received series creator Ed Boon's support for such a remake back in 2016. However, Warner Brothers, which owns the MK IP, didn't buy it. iBallistic are a team of MK fans who appreciate series creator, well, sorry, who approached series creator Ed Boon back in 2016 to remake the game in HD. The petition reads, uh, although Ed fully supported us, Warner Brothers, who owns the Mortal Kombat IP, was unconvinced that the game would sell over 100,000 units. What the fuck, man? Are you serious? Are you... F right. We're planning to painstakingly recreate every detail of every stage in glorious uh, 3D. Petition reads, of course, every fatality, brutality, friendship, and animality will be there too. The characters and stages will get a facelift to 4K resolution and 60 frames per second gameplay. Action through the power of the Unreal Engine 5. We'll even remake all the music by giving it a modern cinematic sound that incorporates real instruments. Right. iBallistic says it was target PS5, Xbox Series X, Switch and PC. Now, at the time it's got over 17,000 signatures. Right. Studio would like to hit 100,000 before formally approaching Warner Brothers with the pitch. Right, so 100,000 for 100,000 copies. I'm, I'm assuming that's the, the thinking, maybe. I could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, go check out this article. Game form is pretty good. Follow the petition through. Sign the fucking thing. Because, I tell you what, they would sell more than 100,000 copies. Right? 
you put it on Xbox, you put it on PC, you put it on PlayStation, fucking put it on Nintendo Switch, and you're going to have a beautiful HD remake of an incredible game, right? This is what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying, dude, right? You could have Mortal Kombat Trilogy, HD remake. Then they remaster Deadly Alliance Deception Armageddon. So essentially Armageddon, we get as then the 3D version of Trilogy, right? So we've got Trilogy, you know, sort of like the culmination of the 2D era. Armageddon, the culmination of the 3D era. And then we have MK Trinity or whatever the fuck they're going to call it, which I'm going to assume is going to be the culmination of MK9, MK10 and then MK11 without the dog shit. That's my big wish, right? So, um, well done, dudes. Like, this is huge. Like, this is gaining a lot of traction, right? You guys should be really, really proud of yourselves. You know, I had a great chat to Joe. I'd love to have him back on the show again. Um, and anyone else in the iBallistic team that want to come in and have a chat. Because these dudes, like, you can tell an MK fan, right? And that happens in any sort of thing that you're a fan of and you meet other fans that are like-minded. There's a passion there, right? Unfortunately, you know, modern fighting games to a degree get hampered by certain things. One of those things is like trying to balance a game and make it eSport friendly. No one gives a shit about eSports. Not really. Well, maybe they do, but, right? I don't give a fuck, personally. Like, I just, like, I'm happy that it exists. I'm happy the FGC exists. I'm happy that, you know, people can take that and get somewhere in life. And, and that's fine. I'm all for that. Right? But the problem I have is when that becomes the focus. When that becomes the focus away from simply just creating a fantastic Mortal Kombat game. Right? Who gives a shit if some things are slightly out of balance? Being a good fighter in a fighting game is working around that. Short of it actually being broken. Right? Right? There, listen, man, I used to be able to beat people up who would choose Noob Cybot because it gave him an easy hit because as soon as you get hit by the ball, whether you're blocking or not, it would completely disable you. You couldn't do shit, right? Couldn't block. And I still beat people. You know why? Because you have to realize the weaknesses of your character and turn those into strengths. And that's what makes fighting, like, you know, the fighting game community great. To a degree, although there's a whole generation of fighting game people that fucking all they care about is finding the most broken character and just using that and beating everyone to a pulp with it. And I, I hate that. When I played MK9 online, I could choose any character because I knew the special moves, I knew a couple of combos, and I knew how to scrap. I fucking love scrapping. Not many, not, not many of these young people that play fighting games know how to scrap. And it's a shame. Because that is actually how you'll get through, not just sitting there memorizing some massive string. And then when somebody breaks you out of that cycle, you don't know what to do. You panic because you don't know how to deal with that, you know, oh my god, I, I haven't sort of trained or haven't taught myself to deal with this other aspect. So, anyway, I'll leave it there. Uh, so yeah, check out this article and uh, follow the petition through, sign it, and... Um, yeah, well done, dude. It's, it's, it's blowing up. It's, it's, it's so exciting to see. Especially as someone that myself uh, absolutely loves MK Trilogy as well. So this is really cool. Anyway, guys, catch you next time.